Hello, everybody. Welcome to Romance Wills Tarot. We are going to be doing today, again, a very simple yet very effective I Release You spell. Before we begin, please do click onto the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos or my live readings. And uh, please don't forget to like. That being said, let's start this off. I Release You spell. This is for you to forget someone who has hurt you. Somebody maybe who has made you suffer. This is going to be a simple spell to let you let go of the past. What do you need? How do we do this? Let's go for it. What you need, very simple. You need a sheet of paper. Now, may this sheet of paper be white, blue, pink, it does not matter, white, I took clear white. Um, also, it can be in construction paper if that's what you have around for some reason. And then the other tool that we need is just a simple pen. So let's go with pen and paper. The very first thing that I want you to do is to write onto this piece of paper the full name and the birth date of the person that you wish to forget. I'm going to write over here a fictitious name. I'm going to call Joe Star. Joe Star. And I'm going to say that Joe Star's birthday is the 6th of April, 1985. So I have Joe Star, 6th of April, 1985. Now, what I want you to do with this, but as you're doing what I'm going to be speaking about, we're going to be folding these papers. Each and every single time that you fold a paper, you're releasing this person, so it is important that you fold the paper near the outer side, away from you, okay? Now, as we're gonna be folding this paper, I'm gonna do it with you, in many, 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 many different folds, as small as you can get your piece of paper. I want you to empty your mind as you're doing this, and I want you to ask your higher self to let go of that person, releasing them forever. So try to release your mind right now. Try to do that. Try to empty your mind. And now, as we are folding, you are going to chant with me. I release you and I decree it's the best for you and it's the best for me. And we do it again, always folding over there. I release you and I decree it is the best for you and me. I release you and I decree it is the best for you and me. I release you and I decree it's the best for you and me. I release you and I decree it's the best for you and me me. If your paper, you're still folding, keep on chanting the same words. Now what I want you to do with this piece of paper, I want you to place it under the main door of your home, doormat, entry, under, okay, as close as you can get. Now I want you to do that all the way until tomorrow morning. You must leave it there outside of your house, underneath a doormat, around your door. Following morning, I want you to retrieve this piece of paper and I want you to take it away from your home. If you are able, if you live close to a crossroads, please bring it over there. Make yourself just, you know, with your boot or your shoe or I don't know, like a little shovel or something, make yourself a little hole bury it. It's small. It just has to go a little bit underneath the earth. If you don't live close to a crossroad, not a problem. It could be onto the side of a road. It can be into your garden. It can be into your, it could be into the far, into the forest. It can be into your yard as long as it is buried. Okay. And this act of burying this person 
banishing this person from your life is going to be the act that symbolizes the release and the liberation of both you and this person who has hurt you. And this does conclude this very simple but very efficient spell. Wishing you a beautiful day, a beautiful release. If you have not watched my video yesterday on manifesting love into your life, um, there is a spell for a full moon because full moon is tomorrow. And the meanwhile, come and see me into a live reading every day at 4 p.m. And uh, I wish you a great day. Many blessings sent out to you. Thank you for joining me today.